Well, if you grew up in the 1970s and 1980s, you probably remember an annoying and very destructive pest. 22 News from Team Meteorologist Adam Trimco found out they are back. That's right, Juliana. It's the gypsy moth caterpillar, and it's invading parts of eastern Hamden County. In the early 1980s, gypsy moth caterpillars were a common sight all across western Massachusetts. If you were born in the 1990s, you may have never seen one before, but they're making a comeback. In the town of Holland, the gypsy moth caterpillars are everywhere. In only about 20 minutes, the caterpillars were all over the tire of our news car. They are also very destructive. They have destroyed all the trees. We have no more uh, leaves and um I mean, they're, they're everywhere, so, you know, we have all dead leaves on the ground, too, that we're not going to have any more leaves this year. If you step outside, it may sound like it's raining. But that's not rain. It's actually their droppings, and it's falling on top of everything. And while they're not in the Springfield area yet, they could be soon. We're going to see the spread because this fall or late summer when the moth is actually hatched, they're going to move. They're going to move somewhat west and it's going to creep its way towards us each year. You can try treating the tree trunks, but once they're in the canopies, there's not much you can do. And they're harder to control these days. The problem is there isn't a lot that can be done. You know, we've become a society of reduced pesticide usage, and rightfully so. But by doing that, we've left the door open to this pest and a lot of other pests and also kind of handcuffed the uh, applicators without, without a lot of tools left. In 1981, the gypsy moth caterpillar defoliated a record 12.9 million acres. That's an area larger than Rhode Island, Massachusetts and Connecticut combined. And for the most part, the gypsy moth caterpillar is mainly a nuisance, but the hairs on the spines can cause a skin rash. 